Hi everyone, this is Bunny from Backward Story, and um, today is kind of um, an experiment, you could say, because I am trying to uh, record on my phone for the first time. I have a um, Samsung Galaxy Note 5, and um, the camera is supposed to be pretty good on it, so I figured um, I would test it out and see how it runs on YouTube and everything, see how it looks, because I've been thinking about buying a new camcorder, because I'm always um, really uh, sad when I go to zoom in on something, and it doesn't uh, show you the small print, which this seems to be showing me small print pretty well right now, so that's a good sign already. But um, it always bums me out when I try to do close detail on a cover design post or something, and I can't. So I'm going to try this fancy uh, camera on my phone first and see how that works, because maybe I'll just start recording with my phone. And let me know if you guys record with your phones too, and is it worth it? Is it something I should keep doing? Uh, anything special I should do with it? So this is totally an experiment right now. Um, and now to get on to the book, which also is an experiment, um, believe it or not. So it kind of works out well today uh, that this is the book I chose to try this out with. Um, it is Misty Copeland, Power and Grace, and it has phot photographs by Richard Corman. And this is a biography about, sort of a biography. It's um, from dancer Misty Copeland, and she wrote these words herself, and... Um, I had Richard Corman do um, interesting photographs of her, and um, it's put together. In, I mean, if you go to the store, it is shelved in adult dance, but it is done in such a way that kids can read it. There is nothing that isn't clean and that doesn't bring a powerful message to kids. So this could just as easily be shelved in the, uh, the kids' department at the local bookstore. And when you open it up, Here's all of these cool images of her dancing. So this is the kind of story it is. Um, it's like it has an introduction, but it has pictures that are um, associated with her words. So like, for example, if we go here, that is definitely good detail. I'm glad I did this. It's, it looks really big on here. I'm like hoping it'll look good just as good on the um, computer, so we'll see. But yeah, so like you've got her words here. She's proof that it's possible and that we can be part of this culture and is pushing to constantly to promote diversity in classical ballet, which is awesome. There's all these fun colors. There's like, it's like a pop of neon, all of these words. Like, I don't want to go through everything. I want to leave some surprises for you. But I wanted to show you a video so that you could just see some of the photography and stuff in here to see what it's all about and what it looks like because it's really interesting and different. And I think it sends a powerful message about being able to do anything and overcoming your circumstances and all of that good stuff to kids um, and to adults too but especially to kids and I think it's also great for dancer and she is having a milestone career that um, people are just going to remember and she is going to forge new paths and break walls and create so many new opportunities for so many more kids in the world. Um, and so I think her story needs to be told. I think it's told in a really fun way that even children can embrace. And I think that it was designed really well. And so I just wanted to show you that. And um, that's everything for me this week. I will talk to you again soon with another um, design slash book post and we'll see if it'll be done on my um camcorder here on my phone so definitely a test thanks for bearing with me on it and check out misty copeland power and grace i'll talk to you again soon bye